Finance Minister Christian Lindner is thinking about the Bundeswehr. It is teetering towards an abyss because the 100 billion special debts for investments will have been used up. The armed forces will lack up to 30 billion euros a year after the next federal election. While Russia is rapidly arming its army despite major losses in Ukraine and, according to Western estimates, is spending more than a third of the state budget on this, the German defense budget is stagnating at 50 billion euros. It is paradoxical, the threat is growing, but the Bundeswehr continues to shrink, both in personnel and materially. Many in the traffic light coalition also want to do this, that Germany can defend itself and the NATO alliance. But few in the Sten Greens are willing to save for this elsewhere. The FDP, in turn, is on the debt break. Lindner has now discovered that you can generate money by simply repaying old debts later. Nine billion could be diverted into the force in this way. The opposition calls this a miscalculation trick, which, however, cannot or does not want to submit a savings list, for example from the budgets for health or social welfare, or from the billions with which tens of thousands of able-bodied Ukrainians in this country are fully supported with citizens' money. In a restrained way, Lindner tries to escape from the stagnatism of the traffic light. There is still a lot of confusion about what Moscow is about. This is also shown by the upcoming departures of those who have tried to the point of exhaustion in the Bundestag to win Olaf Scholz and his SPT for stronger support for Ukraine. For example, the two chairmen of the Committees for Defense and Foreign Affairs, Strack Zimmerman FDP and Rotspt. In the end, the fact that the finance minister wants to strengthen the defense budget with booking magic is just another sign of poverty for a government that is shirking from reality.